In this video, we're going to look at my top 10 favorite hacks from 2025, and these are all unique solutions and uh, different things that you can incorporate into your EMT conduit builds to solve problems. And these have been shared over the last year, and a lot of these come from community builds that we uh, you know, highlight and turn into a video. And uh, there's just all kinds of different things. And these, like I said, are for solving problems in your maker pipe and EMT conduit builds, which if you don't know, those are two materials that you can combine together to build all kinds of wild stuff. And you don't have to do any welding. You don't have to use any power tools. You just use handheld tools to complete your projects. And a lot of times whenever you're doing builds, you might run into some really unique situations and, and problems that you need to solve. And that's where these videos and these hacks come in. That's why we share them, because they're uh, hopefully useful to you guys and help you guys solve problems. And we're just going to highlight 10 of my favorite ones from 2025. There's a lot of good ones in here, so let's just jump right in and check them out. This first one is from the video, Can You Install Rivet Nuts in Pipe? Spoiler alert, you can, and it's really awesome. And these kind of just combine the threaded pipe inserts, which are a solution that we've had on the website and we've talked about a ton on the channel. And it combines them with uh, rivet nuts that are installed in the side of three quarter inch empty conduit. And then they thread together just like that. And there's all kinds of cool possibilities that we highlighted in this video. And it was surprisingly simple to install these in. It really wasn't hard at all. Uh, essentially, you just had to use, um, you, know, you just drilled a hole in the side of the empty conduit. And then you just use the tool that's included with the kit. I think we got this kit at Harbor Freight. Uh, see here we can uh, see you just thread it on and then you just put that uh, on uh, or in the hole there and then you just squeeze the handle like I said and then it compresses it in there uh, which is really cool and it works really well and it actually has a cool thing where you can uh, unscrew the tool really uh, you know really surprised to have that uh, feature on a Harbor Freight kit but worked out really well and then just added this rivet uh, in the side of the empty conduit as we can see there and then it allows you to thread things into it which is really cool like i said you can combine that with threaded inserts and uh, you know add a threaded mounting point in your builds and have a lot of cool possibilities so that was one that we shared earlier this year that i loved a bunch and think it's really useful for projects and that came from a community member originally who shared that which we always appreciate and a lot of these builds and ideas and solutions come from you guys which is always awesome we love seeing that next up is a solution and this is a uh, a video that we call this conduit coupling has strong potential and this is really cool uh, we discovered this had no idea this existed and this essentially is just a reducer coupling that allows you to go from rigid conduit down to EMT conduit as I was mentioning you know our community and we like to build with EMT conduit and maker pipe and we use electrical EMT tubing uh, but rigid conduit is uh, really thick really heavy duty it's harder to cut harder to work with but it does have some good possibilities uh, and you know adds a lot of strength to build so you can use it strategically and this coupling makes it really easy to do that because you can have the main part of your build made out of EMT conduit and then you could you know then add in that rigid conduit and size uh, to that and then you know strengthen your build and just you know gives you a lot of cool possibilities and uh, I think is a really really good solution for kind of adding strength and just giving you some uh, you know unique situations and then you know this would just utilizes the set screws uh, which is really common on electrical fittings and then you can just back those out and then you know the set screw kind of bites into the EMT and something that you can do uh, is you know we like to recommend that you back out those screws and then you can add self drilling screws and that really works really well to uh, you know kind of secure the, the conduit that you're putting inside and that really bites down more into it than uh, just what the standard set screw does. So that's something I like to recommend if you're using those fittings. But that coupling is really cool. And uh, I'll link this video down below. I'll link all the videos down below so you can check out uh, the description of them and you can find links to all these different products and things that we're gonna mention. Uh, but this one was really awesome and I think has a lot of possibilities. Next up is from a video called, This Hack is a Garden Game Changer. And this essentially is a, a block that you can get at Lowe's. Uh, it's already available. Uh, you don't have to make any modifications to it and it's made for building raised garden beds as we can see in the picture uh, from the video which is really cool you know to find these you can stack them and make the, the heights different uh, you know it's really cool a lot of possibilities but a builder in the community found out that you could actually put a piece of rebar in the middle of that and it's made so that you can reinforce and kind of stack several of these blocks together and then uh, you know you just hammer the rebar through the multiple blocks and that secures it in the ground what's really cool about this is if you leave the rebar sticking up a little bit then you can slide EMT conduit over top of it they found that you could slide half inch EMT and I guess even three quarter inch it'll just have more of a slop in there uh, but you can slide that over it and then you can build the rest of your frame which is really awesome here we can see that in action just sliding the EMT conduit over it 
And this provides just a good stable base. You know, once you hammer this in the ground, you can build uh, you know, your garden shade, your trellis, your greenhouse, whatever it is around your garden bed, you can do that really easily. And it uh, gives you a lot of possibilities and gives you a sturdy base for it, which is really cool and uh, love seeing that. That's a pretty awesome one from the community. This is another really awesome one from the community. This was uh, originally shared. Um, Meg and John built a solar panel stand and they put some concrete footers at the bottom of their solar panels as we can see uh, down there. And essentially they just bolted the verticals to those concrete pavers with uh, these true bolt redhead anchors. And they were surprisingly easy to put in. I had never done it before this video. Actually the footage that you see in the video is me doing it for the first time. You can see here, this is the wedge anchor and essentially you just drill holes into the concrete and then you just hammer in uh, the, the anchor and then when you tighten it down, it actually expands in the concrete and then that's what secures the stud in place. And then that gives you a mounting point that you can then uh, you know, utilize uh, you know, the holes and the flanges, which is what we did in the video. That's what Meg and John did in their build. But you could also you know, have the stud sticking up and then you could convert that to the threaded pipe insert and you could actually thread your vertical to it. A lot of cool possibilities with this one. And like I said, it wasn't too complicated to do. Uh, the first time I ever did it was in this video and it was super easy and I think really useful for, for anchoring builds. This next solution is from a video called This Unique Fitting Has Cool Possibilities. And this uh, was really unique because uh, this is actually a fitting that allows you to go from one piece of one inch conduit and then add two pieces of three quarter inch EMT conduit. So you can combine all three of those together, uh, which is really cool and I think gives a lot of possibilities to builds uh, because you know, a lot of times you might be building something and you need to uh, you know, kind of grab uh, and then you know, have a wall coming off of it or uh, you know, make a corner, but you need it to be angled. You could use this for a roof peak, but essentially if you have a one inch build and then you break up your horizontal or vertical piece of one inch and then add these two uh, pieces of three quarter inch, you can then grab onto those uh, pieces of conduit and then you can build your frame off of there, which is really cool. And I kind of show that later in the video here, we can put, uh, we can see the two T connectors on, uh, on the pieces of three quarter inch EMT there and you have plenty of room. They're not bumping into each other and I think it's just really cool. And it also could be used as a way to strengthen builds. You know, two pieces of conduit is better than one if you're looking to strengthen it. Uh, and you know, that's a really unique fitting that allows you to do that. And I think there's a lot of cool possibilities with this as the, the title says, uh, but really cool. And this is another one that has set screws, of course. Uh, most electrical fittings do. So you might want to back those out and then do the self-drilling screws as I've mentioned in the past. But those, uh, that, this is really cool. And like I said, I think has a lot of awesome possibilities for your builds. It might be a little unfair to include this next one in this video because this is not a hack from 2025. This has been used year after year in the MakerPipe community. Probably one of the most common hacks that we see from the community and that is adapting a plumbing flange with a electrical connector to make a flange for EMT conduit. But the reason that we updated this video in 2025 is because a lot of community members were having trouble finding a connector and a plumbing flange that would work together. So we did a series of videos where we tested this out, talked about why. It's because of the tapered thread that you'll find on the plumbing flanges. And then, um, you know, the connector, uh, the connector threads for the electrical connector are straight. So they would not combine together. Uh, and so we actually did a video where we talked about how there's a tap and die set that you can get. And if you wanna, you know, put in a little bit of work, you can actually make these work by using the tap and die, as you can see there. Uh, there it is, and you know you just do the the tap into the um, into the threaded flange to turn those into straight threads instead of tapered, and then you can use a die to straighten the threads on the connector, and you can actually utilize this hack again, which is really cool uh, because it was kind of challenging to find a uh, connector and a flange that would work together, but if you do this. Uh, as you can see here, then it works really well. Then you just add your EMT conduit and there you have a flange, which is really cool. And we also talked about in this video, you can just go uh, find decorative flanges and those work because those have straight threads. Uh, so you don't have to worry about the taper in that situation. And that might be easier than going through all the work of you know customizing these flanges. But if you have some on hand and you just wanna get the tap and die, you can do that. And you, you can find the links to the ones that we used in that video. I really love this next one. This one came from a community member who customized their build and essentially changed the color of the empty conduit. And they did it in a really unique way, which is using this adhesive vinyl that you can find in all kinds of places. I got it from Walmart for the video, but essentially you just cut that down to size 
and then you can roll the EMT conduit over it, uh, or you know you can apply it in different ways, as you can see there. And then you pretty much change the color of the EMT conduit, and you know there's infinite number of uh, colors that you can get. And then uh, it looks really good. It was very surprising to me how simple it was to do this and how good it looked afterwards. Because we talked about painting empty conduit, which is quite the process. I've seen people use the PVC heat shrink tubing, uh, but you know none of them are really as simple as this process, in my opinion. Uh, and it, it's a good a balance between the ease of doing it and what it looks like when it's finished. Uh, as you can see there, I did the red and it looked really awesome. So that's a, a good option for you if you want to customize your builds and change the color. Uh, that's something that might work for you and uh, might be a good way to do that. And there's all the colors that you could see that they had available at Walmart. So this is a really cool one. I love this one a bunch and uh, think more people would find it useful if they did it in their builds. This next one was really obvious and we debated whether or not we should do this video because it was so obvious of a solution. And that's the fact that AMT Conduit is used to run cables and wires through it normally. That's why it was made. Uh, but we use it for building things and normally in those builds, customers aren't using uh, wires and different things in their builds. They're just using it as a tube to build all kinds of different things. But we've had some builders actually utilize the function of the MT conduit to run things through it. And so that's what we highlighted in this video. And I don't know if this is necessarily a hack because it's using it as it's meant to be used, but uh, you know, it, it kind of is being used in unorthodox ways. You know, we've seen people run wires in it for their builds, uh, you know, to add some switches and lights and different things. But people have also used it for making random things like adjustable bird feeders. It's just running cable through it, then adding a hook. And that's what we did in this video. You can kind of see it there where it's just sticking out of the end of the EMT. And uh, it works really well. And it's just something to keep in mind that it might be so obvious that it's easy to miss. And it's something after, you know, almost 10 years of, you know, making videos and talking to customers. It's not something that we've recommended a bunch. Uh, we have every so often, like in this other video that we did a while back where we flat packed uh, a build, we actually ran some elastic through the build to make it easy to fold uh, a table and kind of keep all the pipes together. And so that's uh, really cool. And, uh, you know, just something to keep in mind as you're building and gives you a lot of possibilities, I think. This next one was really awesome. This was uh, actually from a customer who uh, told us about a, a clamp called the cover clamp. And it's a really unique fitting, but very versatile because it allows you to join pieces of conduit and kind of stack them on one another, but then create pretty much any angle that you want uh, because it's an adjustable fitting that allows you to, uh, you know, kind of adjust those two pieces of conduit and, you know, use it in different ways. And this is made originally uh, for boat covers, and this company's existed for a long time, which we didn't realize, and that's really cool. You know, we talk about conduit and look up conduit all the time, and we had never seen this before. So it's always cool to learn something new. We appreciate the customer that shared this with us. Um, but essentially here, you can see uh, that this is just made so you can rotate it, and then you can, uh, you know, have uh, the two pieces of conduit running in different directions. And this is really useful for boat covers, but we talked about it because, you know, our community will see a solution and they'll use it in a hundred different ways that we'd never expect. So we wanted to highlight this clamp because I think it's awesome. Seems like a great company and uh, that makes these. And then I think it'll be really useful for all kinds of different stuff. So this is really cool. Huge thanks to the customer again for sharing this with us and uh, just, you know, really awesome. Definitely check out that video and a link to those clamps if you want to get some, if you want to use them in your build. Last but not least is a hidden hinge that we talked about, which was really cool. And uh, we've talked about, you know, kind of inline hinges in the past on the channel, and we've got a few different solutions for that. But this one utilizes some really inexpensive pieces of hardware. And essentially it was just using a threaded pipe insert uh, inside the three quarter inch piece of conduit and then having another three quarter inch piece of conduit on the other side with a threaded pipe insert spaced perfectly. So then you could, could use a piece of half inch empty conduit between those two pieces and that acts as a hinge in between between the two. So then you could just grab on to those pieces of conduit and then build off the rest of your structure like normal. And you've got an inline hinge that's really inexpensive and fairly easy to make. And uh, I would love this one. This came up, uh, our shop manager came up with this and uh, it's really awesome. And I think a great use of parts that we have already on hand and that you might already have on hand. Uh, so that's really cool. And one of my favorites from the year for sure. And that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I always love going back and seeing the hacks from the previous year. And uh, there's some really good ones in the past year as always. Thank you guys so much for sharing sharing your builds and sharing your hacks so that we're able to make these videos. Keep them coming and we'll keep doing these. I hope you guys have a happy new year and I'll see you in the next one.